Hello, Susanna here from The Good Property Company. Hello, I'm Ash. Who likes being on the other side of the camera? Or just not being on camera at all, <laughs> or holding a phone. <laughs> <laughs> so we are here to talk about deal 124. We're doing a bit of a review of deals we've done, a bit down memory lane. Yep. This will be like year three, year, three, year four? Possibly, I think so, yeah. Yeah, of, um, we've worked together for quite a long time now. And really, <laughs> what we're showing you is this, the space. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't know if you can see that. Um, it's a fair bit of space there, uh, going all the way around like that. And the reason we bought this deal, um, and actually still retain this deal, so we still got tenants in at the moment, we bought it for 180,000, and there, <laughs> just where the caravan is, um, and we'll walk around later on and show you, uh, there's planning permission to, pla to develop up three one-bed flats. <laughs> uh, we bought it pre-auction. We did indeed, yeah. We actually originally were going to buy it with a joint venture partner who pulled out on the day of the auction, which, <laughs> you know, was a little bit frustrating, let's be fair. Um, I didn't necessarily have the plans or the money or the cash flow to, to buy this. I hadn't intended to do so. And so we had to make a very fast decision to see whether we could secure it. So mm -hmm. I remember you taking me to the plate, the... Uh, the airport because I was going up to see my family in Glasgow and I was literally like walking on the runway to EasyJet transferring uh, 18 grand for the 10% which is protect the camera and uh, no protect the microphone uh, 18 grand because it was a 180 grand purchase price literally as I more or less walked onto EasyJet mm. and then you went to the room that night didn't you yes yeah I did so um, we bought it pre-auction so went along to the auction that night so I think we we're bidding on something else yeah um, and I think we got it as well whatever else it was I what it was um, but yeah it w when uh, they said this one had sold pre-auction there was like a, a pretty you know large groan from various people so we're pretty I mean we're pretty lucky to get this one we, yeah. you know we're lucky to get a few um, I'll show you it's, it's that is effectively we're kind of buying that bit but but what we anticipated in our deal report was so bought it for 180 combined day one market value once done up was 445 now that's mm -hmm. very very conservative we estimated that the flats would be worth 90 Five ninety-five and eighty-five, mm. and I just don't think you can get a one-bed flat in Bristol yeah. for for that kind of I mean, price. But we're, we're we're being conservative. Yeah, for safety I think sake. these flats here, um, they so so we we actually have to go back in for planning for 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 a couple of reasons. So, um, you know, actually start the build as you can tell because it's still not there, um, and during the time. Um, of us buying it and you know hopefully starting the build pla uh, the planning permission expired um so we're gonna have to go back in for planning um yeah. and bristol city council we're not worried about no we're not worried about it at all because you still get planning uh, there'll be bigger flats because bristol city council have changed their guidelines yeah on minimum space requirements kind of across the board um so there'll be bigger flats so they'll probably do a bit better I reckon. yeah mm. yeah in the meantime we've had the same tenant the whole way through uh, who's been paying their rent mm -hmm. Uh, and uh, shall I talk about Cantal's Bingo? So one of the things that Ash and I learned ages ago when we were working on High Street, which we did as a bite sale, we mm. bought that for one two nine, one two nine, spent half, twenty on it and sold it for one eighty, yeah. didn't we? And we were doing it as a joint venture. So we were chatting to the builder who was doing that one, and we're like, so how do you find people make money? Because you know, those are the guys who know because they do the work for the investors. And the guy said, well, what I tend to find is they find a cancer house like this that's got a huge amount of land to one side and they add an extension and they make really good money. And he was mm -hmm. actually meaning they just extend the house. He didn't mean you bang in a, a block of flats, which is what we're going to do. But uh, ever since then, every time we drive somewhere, we're in ex local authority location like we are just now, I play cancer house bingo a little bit like when you're a kid and it's Christmas trees and you're trying to spot all the Christmas trees and, you know, in the back of your parents' car, mm. which ones are lit up. Usually when that one over there. Yeah, exactly. Yes. <laughs> Damn it, he's just got one in his bingo. I'm gonna have to find some as we drive out. So I think that's kinda useful. Look mm -hmm. for we bought this basically at value, so we didn't buy it discounted, but what we were buying was the planning permission. We're not particularly worried it's expired. We're gonna go in with bigger set of flats and we expect well, our deal report said end value four four five after buying it for one eighty. It's going to be north of um, mm -hmm. 500 now, which is going to be great. And we're going to start working it this week. Cool. See you soon. Cheers. Bye.